Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this tutorial, learn about how to work with click group, right? So how to combine a group of functions or a group of commands to make them work together. So let's see the first method of doing this. So what we'll be building is something called safe cypherizer. So we'll be building a simple CLI called cypherizer. So let's see the file. The name of the file as cypherizer. So cypherizer.pad. So what are we going to do? So first of all, we are going to create a simple CLI that is going to reverse the screen. That is also going to be able to do lead conversion. And then that is going to do a simple shuffling or randomization, right? Shuffling. Shuffling. That's what we want to do. So we have three different commands and three different functions we want to do. So how do we do that? How do we combine all of them together? So I'm just going to go with import, click, and I'm going to create my main function. So let's create our main function. So def, and then this is going to be our main, right? So we are not going to pass any stuff. So this main is referring to this. So how do we combine all these commands, all these functions together to operate under this def main? So there are several ways of doing it, but was, this is going to be the first method. So this is how it's going to be done. I'm going to create my first function, which is going to be for our reversing a script of a string. So let's call that reverse, reverse, right? Perfect. Then let's give it some description. As oops, reverse okay. test something like this. So I'll copy it and then do it for the rest of them. It's going to be a reverse string. This is going to be for so this is going to be for our lead conversion. So it's going to be lead. And then the next one is going to be for our shuffling. So let's call it as shuffles. Perfect. So we are going to create something simple. So now how do we link all of these things together? So click gives you the option of doing it in a very simple way by using the click group. That is where the click group comes in. So let's see our example. It's going to be at click dot group. The moment I bring at click dot group, now it's telling me that this function is the main parent head, right? It's telling me that this particular function here is the main parent head. So everything is going to be grouped under this. It's telling me that this is the main super command. And all of these things are going to be sub commands. They're going to be children under this particular main stuff. They are going to be under this particular group. Okay, perfect. So we are done with it. Now how how does this see this? Right? How does this individual commands or function see that they are under this? So we are going to bring this particular function of at click dot command right that is the basic way of doing it in case we are writing individual function but because you have we want to bring all these functions one two three under this we're no more going to be calling that at click we're rather going to be calling it at main which is referring to this particular function with the group on top of it right that's why it's called that means so in case this was let's say parent and uh, here is going to be parents. I hope you understand. Okay, that is the basic idea about it. Okay, perfect. So we are done with it. Now we are able to see that this belongs to this. So let's give our argument that uh, let's give our argument. The argument is going to be our click dot argument. Cancel argument. Right, and then I'm going to apply whatever stuff I want to apply. So I'm applying test. I'm not going to keep any stuff. So I'm going to pass in test here as we did earlier on. And then I'm going to work on what we want to do. So what do we want to do? We want to do with click with echo to print it out. Then we want to re reverse our particular stuff. So it's going to be test. The simple way of reversing the string. That is it. So now we are going to work with the first one. So the same thing is going to be done for the rest of them. So I'm just going to go with delete here and then the same thing for our shuffle. So this name must not be consistent. You can change the name and use any name and it's still going to work. It can be any name and it's still going to work. So we we'll try an example of that. So this is going to be our lead. Then this is going to be our test, right? So now I can even change this name and make it like reverse or something else. Or let's say any name I want. Let's make it as let's say my word is still going to work that it, it, it does not necessarily 
mean that it must follow the same format but if it follows the same format it's good because we understand that it's following the same format so it can still work anyway perfect now let's create our simple lit function so i'll just go on creating a simple lit so let's see how to create our lit function so to create our lit function we need to get all the characters inside our list all the characters of the alphabet i'm going to use lambda right lambda c and then character for all our characters that we will be creating later on so let's create our characters first so let's create our character this is going to be our characters and this is going to be all the list of ways right inside our character so in list a is four b is like that as you understand then i'm going to loop through them i'm going to use this particular anonymous function of the lambda to do that so c for our character there then if c in my cars else c, right can you also use a list comprehension like it's something like that okay perfect now we are done with it so the next thing is that we need to be able to put them together join them together i'm going to use click with echo then i'm going to join them together by going with the dot join right what am i joining i'm joining all my characters and then c for our individual word then for oops for c for c in our particular case that has been supplied so that now this test this test here is what is being supplied here, right so it's going to look through it compare them match them like a dictionary and then replace them with where it's supposed to be placed that's the main idea behind it so that's going to be for our lead function now let's see the next one for our shuffle function so for the shuffle it's going to be quite simple we are going to use random right so let's import random from here so import random you can use random shuffle but let's use random sample so it's going to be it's very simple so click dot echo then i'm going to use the same join format so dot join then i'm going to use random dot sample right then i'm going to give my test then the length of my test perfect okay so that is all we need to do for this particular step so we have a shuffle we have a lead and we have a reverse so let's see how it's going to be so python then cypherizer if i go with help it's going to list all of them in a very nice format for us oh i made a mistake somewhere Oh, see i spelled it wrong <laughs> argument <laughs> what don't worry i spelled it wrong so i hope there's no mistake anyway yep so let's run our function so before we run our function we realize that now we when we are calling the file it's calling this main file and then every stuff every one of them this is under this main this command is still under this main and then this is the this is also under this main and all of them are under this particular function because of this click group then this main that is the basic idea so if i go with click now perfect so help show this message right that is showing this and these are commands these are not options these are commands they are just arguments so it's going to be lit reverse and then shuffle so in case i want to run something it's going to be like this python right then the name of the file cypherida.py i'm not going to write test here unlike i'm not going to write test as in the previous one now this is what i want to write i'm going to call the command itself so if i go with lit and i put the name like jesse i'm going to spell it as jesse right so it is working perfectly so we are not calling the test we are not calling the particular function right that is the command now it is not the command that is one thing that you may confuse yourself about okay then again if i case i want i write this and i want to change it to Let's give it as reverse. So Jesse is going to reverse perfect for us. I can also use it for the next one, which is going to be our instead of reverse, let's give it as sharp lies. Oops. Perfect. So it's giving us an error because we are not consistent. <laughs> That's why it's giving us an error. Anyway, it's still, it's still going to make sense. So let's change it from test to my word. The reason is that I don't want you to just think that it 
must always be the same test. It can be different ways, but you can make it consistent anyway. So if I run it now, perfect. It's working. So that is how to work with click group, right? That is one of the first methods of working with click group. So thank you for watching this tutorial. In case you have any question or contribution, you can just put it in the comment section so that everybody can benefit. So the main idea is that you create your main function here, which you are going to be calling here, right? And then you bring this click group here on this particular main function. So after that, everything to bring in click dot command. So of doing click dot command here, and now we're going to do click dot command. I'm rather going to do our main dot command. That is the name of this particular function for for this our function for this our function and then for this our function making them now they are now no, they are no more just argument they are now commands perfect and then when you want to call it you have to realize that you have to call the, the command itself you have to call this particular command not the test itself okay so thank you and stay blessed